set up. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm dripping sweat. It is hot as hell. It's probably like 85 degrees right now. Um, we're set up right on the pinch point. A little, uh, nice little cove here pretty much where it's all beans, but you can't really see it over here. So, I've got one good buck. Um, he's really cool looking, but I really want to get eyes on him. I think he I think he might get another year, but we'll see. If I see him in person, then I think otherwise I'm going to let one fly. Um, but I've been getting them on camera right along this little strip here. And I've got a nice trail right back behind me. It's just a big ravine, so the wind's perfect for this setup. And uh, I'm going to get quiet and enjoy the sit. Hopefully we get some action.
We're heading to the farm. Um, gonna keep grinding. The past few days haven't really turned much up, but um, it's the rut. The deer are moving. I think I'm gonna go hit a new section of the farm tonight. Go scout a little bit and uh, hopefully come up with some sign. And we'll do a hanging hunt. Um, tonight's uh, November 5th. Last year I killed my buck tonight. Uh, not that that means much, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's one of those magical days of November for me. So, always enjoy hunting this evening. Um, we'll see what happens. It's it's just uh, this morning I had a, a target buck uh, show up on camera. So really uh interested hopefully he's on his feet tonight we'll see what happens um and i'll update you when we get in the stand getting set up a little bit later than I wanted to but man this spot right here is on fire uh, I got a scrape down here about the size of a car hood and four or five other small scrapes coming up this field edge uh, really wish I had a camera over here now uh, but maybe it's a good thing uh, coming in here blind um, like I said there's that one good buck that I got that's got the kickers and stuff um, I'm kind of on the fence about shooting him, but I'm not sure uh, he might maybe he's bigger than I think But there is one other good buck. So Hopefully one of those two will show up tonight uh, got a great wind. It's blowing right in our face and It's really tight quarters. So if he does show up, I should be able to get a shot um, I can't really see much off to my right just because there's so many trees in the way but I'm kind of thinking something will come off here from the left side of this ridge uh, I don't know, hang with us and see what happens. Hopefully, big boy goes down tonight.
Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was really on the fence about shooting this deer. I was really on the fence. And when he came in, I like literally, I could, I, I, I know I'm one of like four people hunting this farm and rifle was coming in next weekend. And there's no way these guys here would pass that buck. He's been on his feet the past couple days and I just freaking smoked him, baby. I, oh, oh Jesus! Oh my God, dude! I gotta, I gotta get control of myself. <laughs> well, I cannot believe that this actually went down tonight. I, I've been having so many hard haunts lately. Just, just doesn't feel real. It hadn't hit me yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure this might be the biggest buck of my life. So took every ounce of me not to go look over in that field and see if uh he was laying there i'm i'm like 99 percent sure he's laying there dead but i didn't want to push it because it was pretty much last light when he came in so i uh, creeped out of the tree came over here to the truck i'm just waiting for my buddy to show up and uh we're gonna go track him up and show you all what we got oh yeah look at that arrow Smoked him. Oh, yeah. It don't smell bad neither. Right here in this lane. Yeah, look, that's a nice travel spot. There he is, right there. There he is, right there. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? Holy shit, Leon. Oh my God, dude. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at the character. He's got points everywhere, man. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. All right, well made it back unfortunately the uh camera battery died right there during the recovery so we went ahead and cleaned him up and uh got him back over here towards the truck and i wanted to do a little uh little video and just share this buck with you all because i am in disbelief right now that that i did this um this is an absolute dream come true for me uh i've always i mean i moved here to kentucky to to chase big bucks and i mean to think that I was on the fence about shooting this deer, like, I just can't believe myself. I mean, I thought he was a lot smaller on camera. Typically, like, for me, they don't really trick you like that, but this one sure did. When he came in, I, I just couldn't believe it. I, I mean, he had so much more mass than I thought. And just character, it's just, there's no way. I'm... I'm not quite at that point where I'm ready to pass a deer like this. I mean, it would be an absolute magnum, you know, if he made it another year. But with me being one of a few other guys hunting the farm, I just, there's no way. I, I know that these other guys would kill this buck. And, and he was on his feet the past couple of days I've seen. So just, uh, just unbelievable, honestly. Uh, I got to give it to the custom gear. I mean, that got me in the smallest tree today. Super, super low. I, I was probably like 12 foot off the ground maybe. Uh, just in the super small tree. I mean, you saw this buck had no idea I was there. I mean, it was so sweet. And just to say that, you know, a deer of this caliber just comes wandering in, like having no idea you're in there. It just, it was a really cool accomplishment. I've had a, 
I've had quite the struggle this season. I really haven't seen many bucks. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's been it's been really tough. Um, this just is an absolute dream come true for me, and to to be sitting behind this big boy and telling this story is just just unreal. But wanted to uh, wanted to give a big thanks to to Lone Wolf Custom Gear for getting uh, the the whole pack together this year has been a game changer everything i've been just just super super tight with all my stuff you know packing and been doing so many hanging hunts this year with that setup and it's just i can do it blindfolded now it's it's crazy but i hope uh i hope you all enjoy this i can't wait to to see the final footage of everything come all together uh this is just unreal for me and uh i hope you all enjoy it